Uh, so the question here is using a named example, assess the extent to which the primary effects of a storm are more significant than the secondary effects. This is a nine marker, and it's got three spag marks as well. Obviously in the hazards um, section of the course. So my, my first thoughts are, what's, what's the, uh, the storm that I've studied? And it's Typhoon Haiyan in the Philippines. So that's where I've started my answer. So one name storm that, storm that I have studied is Typhoon Haiyan in the Philippines. That's my first point here, my first argument. Firstly, it could be argued that the secondary effects are greater than the primary effects. This is because sugar, rice and fishing, fishing industries were severely damaged. This meant that long term they had no sustainable food source, which would therefore make it harder to recover. Moving on here. On the other hand, others would argue that the primary effects were more significant. This is evidenced by the fact 6,340 people were killed by the storm. This would lead to significant emotional torment, as well as the potential loss of a breadwinner in an already poor area. In conclusion, I think that the long-term or secondary effects were greater because they affected more people. So just remembering on these nine markers, we need the kind of four argument, the against argument, and the conclusion. So my four argument is the secondary were the most significant. My against argument, and I've used that word on the other hand, or that phrase on the other hand, is that the primary effects are more significant. And I've summed it up in the conclusion. I probably should have used secondary effects instead of long term, but I've been clear on my opinion there. So I think that's level three because I've got clear supporting evidence as well as developed ideas.